Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom, back with a new week of what I cooked for dinner. So this night I am making a beef and noodle sort of stir fry dish, and I'm using some carrots, some snow peas, and mushrooms, of course the beef. I needed the pasta. I actually planned on using spaghetti noodles, but did not have any. All I had was angel hair. So I decided to take a chance and use this macaroni. So I went ahead and sauteed up the veggies in some sesame oil. I cooked the beef and drained the fat separately and then added it back in. And then for the sauce, I used sesame oil, soy sauce, and that chili garlic sauce and added in the cooked pasta. It was pretty good. I definitely think it would have been better with the spaghetti noodles noodles, but I just didn't have it and I had to go ahead and improvise, but it did come out pretty good. The flavor was definitely there and I think next time I make it, of course, I'll use a longer pasta. The next night I had some shrimp thawed out, so I cut up some zucchini from my mom's garden and also some onion and I sauteed that up first until it was almost done. I also had on the side some rice pilaf going. I took the veggies out and threw the shrimp on really quickly in some EVOO and some of this Trader Joe's onion salt. I absolutely love that spice or that seasoning. I also added in a splash of this Riesling wine right into the pan with the shrimp and it gave it just a really rich flavor. So I had the shrimp with the rice pilaf and the veggies and it was a really, really tasty dinner. I would definitely make it again with the splash of wine. It just added that little extra something that it needed. The next night I was making some breakfast for dinner and I like to cook up bacon because I use it for multiple things throughout the week. I can use it to throw on sandwiches. It's really good on turkey sandwiches or chicken salad or egg salad. It's also nice to have it to throw in recipes and it's also really nice to heat up really quickly for like a breakfast meal. So I go ahead and bake my bacon in a 400 degree oven. I also made some hash brown casserole. I do have a whole video on that on my cooking playlist and I'll link that down below. So we had some hole in the bread, some people call them bird's nests, with the cooked bacon and the hash brown casserole. I like to dip the hash brown casserole right into the egg yolk. It's really tasty and this is what we had tonight. We will see you tomorrow. So this night we were at my mom's house. She made a big salad using as many things from her garden as possible. The sauce she makes from the tomatoes from her garden, and she added sausage and short ribs. It was delicious. She did do some beets in her garden, so I did put some pickled beets that she made on top of my salad. And then we had the ziti with the homemade sauce, the short ribs, and the sausage with some fresh Italian bread. It was absolutely delicious, as always. And then the next night, I made some stuffed peppers. My mom actually gave me these peppers from her garden. So I stuffed them with some lean ground beef and marinara sauce and some Parmesan cheese. So I just layered in the meat, then I topped it with some cheese, and then after the cheese, I topped it with another layer of the marinara sauce and a little bit more cheese. So I sort of did like a layered thing going on. Lately, when I've been doing peppers, I've been doing them when it cut in half lengthwise, and I like them better than doing a whole pepper stuffed. So yeah, they came out really good. I just baked them at 375 for about 30 minutes, and I just served them with some of the five cheese garlic Texas toast, and it was a really good dinner, really simple, and we will see you guys tomorrow. Yes, I did get these plates at TJ Maxx. For some reason, I get a lot of questions about our actual dinner plates. I just picked these up recently at TJ Maxx. So this night was a no meat night and I thawed out some of the non-garlic flatbread from Aldi. It freezes really well. So I went ahead and topped it with some marinara and that I actually had left over to use up and then some mozzarella cheese. And since it was a no meat night, I obviously used some veggies. So the veggies I used this time were some baby bella mushrooms that I just sliced up pretty thin, some red onion, and some black olives. And I obviously love mushrooms and went a lot heavier with the mushrooms on mine and my husband is a bigger olive fan, so I just went a little bit heavier on the olives for him. These bake up in 10 minutes, so as long as you have them thawed or they're just in your fridge, 
already thawed. It's a really quick dinner. And obviously, if your kids like non pizzas, these would be perfect to, you know, have the kids help you out with if your kids are into helping with kitchen stuff. So you just want to top them up. You can also brush the edges with a little bit of olive oil if you wanted to, but I find the, cr the crust gets pretty crispy on its own. And then in 10 minutes, it is perfectly crispy and chewy and just really, really good. And I find one is a good size. We also had some small little side salads, but I forgot to film them. And it was a really easy dinner, um, especially since we got home late from work. So it was a delicious thing to make. The next night, I made the Trader Joe's coconut shrimp. I really like the shrimp. They're really yummy for appetizers and also for dinner. And then I used the Terrapin Ridge Farm Apple Maple Bacon Jam as like a little dip. It definitely was really good. And this stuff is good in a lot of different things as a lot of different dips or spreads. I made the Near East Rice Pilaf on the side. And then I did some yellow, orange, and red tomatoes for my mom's garden. I just drizzled them with EVOO, salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and some fresh dried basil from my mom's garden. And we dipped it in that little apple maple bacon jam. It was good. The next night, I made some turkey meatloaf. I had made this a couple weeks prior and couldn't stop thinking about it because it came out really good. So I did the panko, the bacon cheddar shredded cheese from Cabot, one egg to bind everything, and then some minced garlic. I brushed the top with the barbecue sauce. I also did these baked, baked pierogies. I've never done them baked, and they came out really good. And then again, I used that Sweet Baby Ray's to top the meatloaf, which is why there's sort of like a glaze on top. My sister was over this night and we had mixed veggies, pierogies with the meatloaf, and it was absolutely delicious. I am home from work and just about to put dinner in the oven. So I've got some sweet Italian sausage and some hot Italian sausage. You can tell which one is hot because it's the reddish colored one. I cut up a yellow pepper, a red bell pepper, an onion, and then I actually added about three quarters of a bag of these sweet peas, like a steamer bag. My mom always did a similar one bake dish like this, and I always remember loving the peas in it. So I'm actually gonna cover it with foil, let it bake for about 20 minutes uh, with the foil on, and then the last like 15 minutes, I take the foil off so the sausage gets a little bit crispy. So I'm going to throw this in the oven, not sure what I'm going to make on the side yet, some kind of carb or starch, and I will show you what it looks like when it comes out. So I decided instead of rice to make these Pillsbury Crescent Rolls, I actually already had them in the fridge. I purchased it in a two-pack and used one already for football. I actually wrapped little Smokies in them and had them as like a little appetizer. These are just like a foolproof, everybody likes them kind of little side. And it does come, I think, in an eight pack, like eight little rolls. My son actually even tried them and liked them. So I just quickly rolled them up and threw them in along with the sausage and peppers and veggies for like the last 10 minutes. I find with these little rolls, I just turn them halfway and they brown perfectly on both sides. The sausage came out perfectly. The veggies roasted up really nice. I actually mixed the whole sheet tray up about twice in the cooking process. And as you can see, we have plenty of leftovers that I'm gonna use to make some little eggy muffins with some sausage, veggies, and cheese for some meal prep. So this was a really good dinner. We have sausage at least once a week, I feel like. I hope you enjoyed seeing what we had for dinner the past week and a half or so. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Music